conversion of units. So they will be focusing on centimeters and millimeters. It is important to know that when we are converting from a big unit to a small unit, we multiply. And when we are converting from a small unit to a big unit, we divide. Today we'll be converting from centimeters to millimeters, so we would have to multiply by 10. Again, from a big to a small, we multiply. Okay, let's do a few examples. I have to change one centimeters to millimeters. I have to multiply by 10. So my answer would be 10 millimeters. I have two centimeters. I like to change it to millimeters. I have to multiply by 10. So my answer would be 20 millimeters. I have eight centimeters. I like to change it to millimeters. I have to multiply by 10. So I'm going to get 80 millimeters. Now look at this. I have two centimeters and four millimeters, and I would like to change it to millimeters. The first thing I would do is change my two centimeters to millimeters so I can determine the total millimeters I have. Okay, to change centimeters to millimeters, I need to multiply by 10. So I'm going to have 20 millimeters plus 4 millimeters, which is going to give me a total of 24 millimeters. Let's do our next question. 7 centimeters, 3 millimeters. I like to change it to cent to millimeters. So I am going to change my centimeters first. So it's going to be 7 by 10, which is going to give me 70 millimeters plus my 3 millimeters will give me a total of 73 millimeters. Let's do one more like this. I have 6.5 centimeters and I would like to change it to millimeters. What do I do? I multiply 6.5 by 10. What happens when we are multiplying by decimals? We shift the point to the right. I am multiplying by 10. I have one zero, so I'm going to be shifting my decimal point once to the right. Now let's do that. If I shift my decimal point once to the right, I am going to have 65 millimeters. Okay, so this was changing centimeters to millimeters. Now we're going to be changing from millimeters to centimeters again. When we are changing from a small unit to a big unit, we have to divide. And we are changing to millimeters, so we would be dividing by 10. Let's look at our first example. We have 10 millimeters, and we would like to change it to centimeters. So I have to divide by 10. 10 into 10 is 1, so my answer is one um, centimeters. Now I have 40 millimeters and I like to change it to centimeters. How do I do that? I divide by 10. 10 into 40 is 4, so I am getting 4 centimeters. Now I have 78 millimeters. I like to change it to centimeters, so I have to divide by 10. How can I divide 78 by 10? I can simply remove my decimal point once to the left. You see that? So I'm getting 7.8 centimeters. Now let's do our next example. I have 200 millimeters. I like to change it to centimeters. All I have to do is divide by 10. We are dividing by 10. We shift our decimal point to the left. In a whole number like 200, the decimal point is understood to be after the number is going to be here. So all I have to do is shift it once to the left. So my new number would be 20 centimeters. I have 450 millimeters and I like to change it to centimeters. All I have to do is divide by 10. Okay, shift my decimal point once to the left. I'm getting 45 centimeters, 525 millimeters to centimeters. All I have to do is divide by 10. Shift my decimal point once to the left, and I'm getting 52.5 centimeters. Okay, so this is how we change 
millimeters to centimeters and centimeters to millimeters. Please practice several questions like this. You're not going to do it once and remember it. We can't get it good unless we practice. Okay, that's it for this video. All for this question. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Latoya's Online Academy.